Peace, love, and light, family. Hi. It's your girl. Some of you know me as Denise. Some of you know me as Sister Toffee. Some of you know me as Nisi. Some of you know me as a nice person. Some of you know me as somebody not to play with. Somebody knows me as friend. Somebody knows me as family. I really don't know what people see me as. All I think about is trying to become and see myself as the way that the Most High sees me. That's what spiritual alchemy is all about. Becoming our true selves, the identity of Osir, the identity of the Christed One, the identity of the God-Man, the God-Woman, the Master of the Self, the Spirit working as an avatar, allowing the Divine to take control and do what it wants to do. So all praise is due to the Most High God, Creator of Heaven and Earth, of all that is, all that was, and all that will be. Bless His Son and bless the Cosmic Mother Womb. Bless all that is life, or everything that has life in it has the Christ in it. Christ said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. In other words, no man can create without the spirit of life, which is the Christ. The father is the seed. The mother is the universal womb, which is what goes on in our minds. The thoughts, the intentions, the emotions, the desires, the spirit, the manifestations itself of how we create our lives, how we manifest things in our lives has a lot to do with the, the workings of the cosmic mother womb. Just as a child is born, we don't know when the eyes are made, the nose is made, the personality is de developed. They're going to have long fingernails that grow all the time, short fingernails, long eyelashes, big eyes, small eyes. We don't know. Okay, creation, ultimate creation belongs to the creator. But in this channel, we're discussing how to become a co-creator with the, our creator. So um, let's get to the topic. Balancing the self, bringing in balance. So, when I thought about my own life, and I said to myself, what do I need to do to bring balance in the four parts of myself that I talked about in the last video? Excuse the notifications, you guys. I still don't know how to stop them. Which is spiritual life, health life, work life, and social life. Okay, I'm just going to, you can plan and plan and plan and plan and plan things and you know, you'll always find something you can do better. So I think I'm learning how to ease into being natural. And I'm here at uh, beautiful Ladera Park in uh, Baldwin Hills. I'm sorry, Ladera, Ladera Park, Ladera, California. Um, so back to the topic, balancing, bringing in balance of the self. So first you have to take inventory. Okay. And what I suggested was that you get the 42 laws of Ma'at. You should be able to Google it and find it. And what they, what it is, well, it's actually called the 42 confessions. And what you would be doing would be speaking these confessions of things you have or have not done. And the things that you know you have done that are against the 42 confessions, because all of the 42 confessions are in alignment with the Creator's will, then you want to start working on those things including myself. So look up the 42 laws of Ma'at so that you can start, if you haven't, it's almost the end of the month of March. We're moving into April, Aries season, and then we'll be into Taurus season. Um, you want to be able, the biggest step in changing ourselves is, the, is, is, is before the alchemy is the inventory, the analysis, you know. Um, depending on how many years you've lived and how much you've been through is going to determine how much studying of yourself and your life and your past you've gone through that you're going to have to study these different experiences and how they have affected you and what you need to do to cultivate the new character that you're going to need to become the God self you know some of us are going to have more work than others depending on the traumas that we've been through depending on the love that we received the support we received you know we'll have you know positives and negatives in both areas everybody's situation everybody's experience is different so you have to 
take inventory according to what you've experienced and you know listen to divine guidance within yourself to see what you need to work on because this life is not permanent this is the whole thing you know we all work so hard we're here we enjoy life and life is beautiful you know if, if if nothing else is beautiful the creator is beautiful and all of creation is beautiful so there's always something beautiful to remind us of the beauty of life and the beauty of our creator the heart of our creator so even when there is just indescript indescribable pain in your life there's always nature is here to remind us of how beautiful our creator's heart is we have abundance everywhere so um, it's about shifting our minds spiritual life is about alchemy spiritual al alchemy and mental alchemy um, I think what makes it difficult in this world is that we live in a society that is so focused on self that you have to learn how to provide for yourself in so many different ways not just monetarily but emotionally you have to be your own friend your own mother your own father your own brother your own sister your own cheerleader you have to be everything for yourself but you can only do that through Christ you do that through the spirit of life the spirit of life is Christ I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me but first Christ was a an energy and then after he became an energy he became the divine word and then he became flesh so Christ is not just the S-O-N he's the S-U-N I talked about in the beginning of Genesis when God said he hovered over the waters and said let there be light I'm going to read it for you because we're recapping and then I'll give you a brief on we talked about the first day that God made everything so uh, I mean if we I feel I figure that the Bible is a pretty good resource and if we can't have, if we, if we don't even have the ability within ourselves, in our own consciousness, because of things we've been through, traumas we've been through, if we don't have the ability ourselves to take inventory, the divine is within us. If, if, if God was not within us, we wouldn't be alive. So if you're alive and you're able to see and walk around, if you're not hooked up to any machines, and you're not in a hospital, then you have the ability to connect to the divine and find out what the guidance is for the day for you to understand yourself better. So I'm going to go to where God, in the beginning, Genesis. So Genesis, in the beginning, chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning God created the heaven and earth. That's verse 1. 2, and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Okay? That to me was when the father, which is the seed of life, and the mother, which is the womb of life, was impregnated with Christ, the energy of life and light. And God said, right here, see, three, it's the Trinity, let there be light, and there was light. See, that's the creation of Christ right there. There he is. And God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. See, so he separated truth and confusion right there. Okay, and Christ was the light. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Okay, so I'm going to leave it right there. That was verses 1 through 5. Okay. Now, I was just speaking about those particular verses because in this other book that I have that I wrote in, They've been giving me some really deep studies about hidden knowledge in the Bible that came directly from the divine. That means that God speaks directly to you and gives you a particular understanding of a scripture. Okay. And so this scripture, excuse me, this scripture, Genesis 1 through 4, I mean, sorry, 1 through 5. This is uh, the first day. So this is how God, how spirit was created or how God created 
the first day of creation, let's just say that. So number one, the first thing that happened was the father, the seed of life, which is the creator of all things, moved over the, the, the waters. And he said, and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. So that means there was chaos, okay? And so he said, I had to make sense of this, okay? So that's what we're doing. That spirit of God is, a, is, is, is the spirit within us that makes sense of confusion in our life. That's the father's energy, okay? It's time to recreate something new, okay? What's your holy name? Okay, so darkness, which is the matter or mother, see? Matter, mother. <laughs> that was the matter that it had, didn't have form. It didn't have organization. So the father came and put a program into those seeds of everything that was created. He started shaping everything in his consciousness, what, what he was going to create from squirrels to, to, to plants, to trees, to water, fire, air, earth. You understand? Everything that the creator wanted to make, that's when the seeds of thought started forming into his mind. Okay? Movement, okay, the first, I'm sorry, first was there, there was chaos, he moved over the waters, that was the mother energy, and as far as I'm concerned, that was the first birth, that was when he birthed the Christ, and then all the planets, and the elements of fire, water, air, and earth, okay, that's my personal opinion, and all the laws, of course, this is before he made these things, he created programs for these things to follow whatever it is that he created it for. Butterflies are going to fly. Birds are going to fly. You know, donkeys are not going to fly. Donkeys are going to walk. You know, human beings are going to walk. Trees are going to give up oxygen. He made programs for everything he made. Okay? So, after chaos, which was the mother's energy, okay, the hidden that needed order, and the father inserted his energy into the mother waters or the cosmic mother womb, created the laws, the, the elements, the planets, the angels, okay? Of course, he made the Christ first because he said, let there be light. That was verse three, right? That's the Trinity, Father, Mother, Fa Father, Son, Holy Spirit, right? Holy Spirit is the mother. Okay, two, movement and action was the next thing that happened in Genesis. Movement and action, okay? And... Of course, it says three, he, he spoke and he said there was light in that. So that was illumination. So first there was chaos and he moved over the chaos, meaning you take an action over the chaos, okay, in your life. You, you do something. You prepare yourself to do something about the chaos in your life. Two, you move out on that action. Three, he spoke and then there was light. So then you start speaking blessing over your life. You start speaking the things that you want to happen over your life. This is the God power. This is the net to root. I will tell you which netters they are once I finish sharing with you what the hidden knowledge of it is, these particular verses, 1 through 4 of Genesis chapter 1. So number four, examination and inventory, description and divisions, separating the, know, the known from the unknown. Okay, so this is what I got, five measurements of times and cycles. So we're to take this knowledge and apply this to our consciousness and our life and what we need to do to get ourselves where we need to be. Because I don't know many people, this whole life is a challenge. I don't know many people that are where they need to be. If they are where they need to be in divine timing, they're a master. Because we are constantly, we, first of all said, Satan who is the devil has fallen down among you. And don't think that, you know, just because a person has melanated skin or they don't have melanated skin, it means that they're a good person. No, devils come in all races. You got some of the biggest black devils walking around. I don't want a devil around me, period. That means somebody that thinks evil. I don't care what race they are. And I'm, I'm speaking like this right now because I got a devil around me, you know, but I'm really not nobody to play with. <laughs> I'm not. I have no mercy for the devils, but I'm going to keep working even though I got a human devil around me, you know. Anyway, praise God. <laughs> Bless the master. Bless the Godhead. Bless the cosmic mother womb. Amen. And I say. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take um, we want to take a look at the chaos in our lives. What is going on? What is chaotic in our lives? What do we need to do? What can we do about the chaos in our lives too? Which is darkness. We need to address the darkness. What are the hidden things? What are the things we know and what we don't know? We need to make a plan on addressing those things so we can start making a plan that will work because what you don't know can and will hurt you. Three, you got to move out on the action. 
of what you decided to do. Three, you start speaking using this power of Sekir, Christ. In the beginning was the word, the word was God, and the word was with God. And God said, let there be light. You get it? That's a power we have as a co-creator of God with his spirit in us. When we speak things, it has life in it. Okay? The power of the tongue. We have to learn how to speak the blessings over our life, even though we don't feel the blessing. Like right now, I don't feel the blessing. I feel evil around me because I'm in Los Angeles. This place is full of devils. But I speak blessing and peace and protection over this recording because I asked the Father to allow me to be used because he doesn't need me. He doesn't need me here. Christ doesn't need me here. It's an honor to serve while we have our bodies to be used by the Creator to bring light, meaning understanding. All you're getting, get understanding to others in the world so that they can master their life and have peace in their life. Not about making sure people think you're something or this and that. The devil's leaving. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So the devil's going to do what he does. He's going to challenge. He's going to try to test you. He's going to, you know, the, the problems aren't going to stop. You got to do your work, whatever your work is that God called you to do. You got to do it even in the midst of attack, even in the midst of pressure, even in the midst of being surrounded by evil. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and, and, and thy staff, they comfort me. Okay? So, again, recapping on the inventory, check out the chaos in your life. What's messed up? Okay? Realize what you don't know and what you do know. Make a plan to de deal with the, and address those uh, chaotic situations in your life then move out into action after you move out in the action start speaking blessing over your life use prayers use affirmation i will have a successful uh channel here you know people will navigate people will come to this channel they will learn about themselves as a spirit they will grow in the knowledge of themselves they will start to understand who they are as a unique manifestation of god they will be strengthened they will be encouraged. They will feel love. They will feel power. They will feel peace. And they will gain illumination. And they will learn to how to master themselves. They will gain tools that will help them to master their lives. And they will be blessed. In the name of the Christ, Yahshua, Yahuwah, Yahweh ben Yahweh, Esau, whoever you would like to call the master. In his holy name, amen and I say. So I just spoke a blessing over this channel. You get what I'm saying? So you have to do that because it's a power. We don't think it's that big. But it says the, the tongue is a small member, but what a great fire it kindleth. Type that into the Google uh, search engine and put KJV and you'll see that it'll give you the scripture. I've been reading since I was a little girl, so I have these scriptures deep in my spirit. So they come out when they need to. Okay, so um, he spoke light and life for um you take inventory and you describe what you want to do you separate yourself from the evil ones because there are evil ones see we want this world to be a loving place we want it to be a place where we all can get along we can all love each other but most people don't honestly people family the majority of people in this world don't want harmony i'm gonna tell you what they want they want to rule over you they want to rule over you. They want to possess you and control you and harm you. They don't have respect for you. They don't think that, oh, this is a person that God created. Let me respect them. No, people, women and men, they see you, especially like me. I roll by myself. I don't roll by myself. I roll by myself in the earthly because I don't have time for games. People, if whoever's going to be around me have to be about God's business. I can't do it anymore. I'm not spending the, the rest of my days with foolishness. So spiritually, I got thousands of angels around me and ancestors. I'm not worried. I know I'm protected. I know it. I know I'm guided. I know I'm connected to the spiritual world because the other day I didn't even know it was uh, easy ease for those of us that are uh, <laughs> rap fans. <laughs> These are from my hood people. Yeah, t Toffee knows a little hood. Don't don't trip. You know, Um. Yeah, the day before his birthday, I had no idea it was his birthday. I had his CD, 
I got it from a guy because I always wanted to listen to it so I can hear what the brothers talk about. Because I know y'all, you know, the game ain't sold, the game is not told, the game is played. And you got to learn learn the rules of the game or you're going to get played. And when you do learn the rules, you play to your own advantage, okay? So I've learned the game because I got beat by the game a hundred million times. So I got the game down now. Uh, so, you know, they got to be real good to get me. They got to be very good. Anyway, I, heard, I, I, I had this driving energy to want to play him i'm like i don't even listen to gangster rap but i'm listening to my easy e you know and i'm feeling it you know about basically the black struggle you know and i'm, I'm listening to it because i'm like this is the brother's take on what they're going through you know in south la or where in other you know black communities where they feel that they have been you know racially profiled etc cetera, etc cetera. and i'm listening i'm also listening to their stuff they're saying about the women and i'm and i'm listening in, a, in an observatory way to understand where the, the the programming, the miseducation of our black men have taken place and how they have basically dis, um, adopted this nature of destroying the womb that they come out of, you know, by calling women out of their name, calling them female dogs, etc. you know. And you destroy yourself when you destroy your own woman because the women and the children of any nation belong to the men of that nation. If you don't protect them, then you are sabotaging your own uh, legacy and your own power as a man. Because until you're thinking as a man with a mindset of, of my nation, my people, you, you haven't leveled up to the, the God King level. God King, that's why you call King. It's a King dumb. Your dome is full of King's thoughts. A King has a land to rule. Okay. And the queen stands by her king. And if you don't have an earthly king, then you stand by the master, the one who owns this whole universe. Okay? Because he's my king. You know? And faithful or any earthly man I've ever had. You know, no matter what I've done, the master has stood by my side. Never leave, never left me nor forsake me. Ever. Has always been by my side. And so this is uh, why I am trying, I'm, I'm, I am leveling up. I'm leveling up and I'm doing what I'm told to do because it seems that nothing else is working in my life because I'm called and um, I keep putting the cart before the horse in my personal life. Some people can do what they want to do. Some people can live in the world and it's no big deal. But those of us that are called to do something, we can't keep putting the cart before the horse, meaning we can't keep putting earthly worries over our spiritual purpose. We will not progress. So you can keep running if you want, but you're not going to progress. This little small token of my obedience, I pray that it's enough because I want progress. But it says if you take care of God's business, he'll take care of yours. And so this is what I'm attempting to do to honor the most high, you know, the heavenly father of our Lord, the Christ and the cosmic mother. OK. And the mother of all the prophets, you know, because honestly, our heavenly father and mother are one. And that is the Heavenly Father, the Omnipotent One, the Omnipotent One, the One who birthed life, which is the Christ, and the Cosmic Mother, which is a mystery. Okay? Mother Mary ain't just a, a woman walking around with some feeble-looking clothes. Mother Mary is the Mother Ray of Light. When I say Cosmic Mother Womb, that's what I mean. The, the Mother Womb of all life, the universe, the One who has birthed everything. The Divine Mother. Let me get back to the subject because I can get on fire because she works with me a lot. Bless the God here. Okay. This is what it means when we're saying we're part of the heavenly family. There's a father, there's a mother, and there's a son. He's the first of many sons. See, y'all got to get this thing right. Y'all got to twist it. <laughs> you can't have three male energies in the family of God. Two male energies don't create life. A male and female energy create life. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not saying that any of the holy books are wrong. What I'm saying is there's some things being left out. And you better believe that the woman is the divine feminine essence of God creator. You better believe it. It's the truth. And this world will not be right until women are understood as goddess. Okay? That's why I'm on the scene because divine mother ain't playing. She's like, look, I'm a, my presence must be known now. No more humbleness. She is chaos. She is. She's no joke. She's nothing to play with. And her daughter's like me, I'm out here on the scene, okay? And the Heavenly Father, he's not with it either. Would any men out there, would you want somebody disrespecting your wife and her daughters? 
Your daughters? No. So y'all think about that. You men out there that are watching this video, think about it. It's like if you want to, if you have a wife, wonderful. You don't want anybody disrespecting your wife. If you get a wife, the wife you want, do you want another man coming around disrespecting your queen? No, you don't. You want her to be treated accordingly, right? How do you think the Heavenly Father feels about the womb of creation? Let us make man in our image and likeness. Okay, if he was talking to the Christ, it would be nothing but men here. Let, come on now. Come on, people. <laughs> so this balance thing, the reason why the world is out of balance, the reason why we're out of balance is because, number one, in ancient Egypt, the woman was looked at as the source or the uh, of divine guidance, okay? Divine divination, the spirit speaking to her. But it's been hidden because the fact that we can give birth and then break our bones open and, and get back up and keep walking, it's, it's a mystery and it scares some men. And so some men actually, the African man always honored that. But the ones that took us, they didn't like the fact that the woman was revered like that because some of them were gay and they wanted our men. They wanted our men. I'm just keeping it real. Okay, so they had to knock the woman out. of. The, they had to knock her out of her position. So they were, and not only that, they wanted both. That's where all this sexual immorality is coming from. This is nothing but the devil. All these demons around here that want to suck the life out of you uh, through sex, they look at you and they think to themselves, "Oh, I, I, they're like they're not they're not even God, they're not even people, they're not even gods, they're animals." You know why? I'm sitting right here in this park right now, and I got men to my left over here that are thinking right now she's by herself. I'm about to attack her, and I'm not the woman to be playing with. I know they're men, but and, and I'm not saying I think I'm stronger. What I'm saying is. I've been through so much. I have no mercy for a devil. I bless God and I bless my brothers and sisters, but devils, I don't bless a devil. If you, if it's a devil coming around me, watch yourself. Just keep your distance from me. Know who you can play with and who you cannot. Now, I'm going to tell you something about bringing in balance on many different levels. First of all, women, we have to heal. The, 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 a nation can raise no higher than its woman. Women, we have to heal ourselves. Okay, let's get this straight with black women. Black women and, mo and other women, women of other races, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to leave them out of it because I can only talk about my own experience. Black women, our men, they are too damaged to heal us. They're too damaged to heal us. They have, they have damage that we can't even comprehend. And they don't have as much feminine energy as we do. So we have that build, ability to give birth to the new in a way that they cannot. Okay? And so we have to take responsibility for our conditions, even though we're not the cause of why some of us are bitter, some of us are angry, some of us are hiding, some of us are dealing with all kinds of emotional imbalances and mental aberrations because of the way we have been treated. This hidden abuse that our men have been doing to us over and over and over and over again. They don't want anybody messing with their mother, but they see a woman in the street and they want to violate her. But if somebody messes with their mother, you know what they'll do? They'll probably take them out. So somebody can't mess with your mother, but you can mess with somebody else's daughter. You see how sick our men are? They're sick. That's why I always keep a little special friend with me. I'm not anybody to play with. And I'm not saying that to try to put some negative energy on the video. Forgive me for that, brothers and sisters. It's all about love and light. But in this city of the city of lost angels, they have become worse than their oppressor. Everybody's about domination. That's all these sick men think about. And you got some women walking around want to do the same thing. Who can I get to be my slave? This is what it is, people. So black women. 
You have to understand what's going on mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and socially with our people. How other races, number one, want to be better than us. How Latino men want to take the black woman from the black man. Oh, you better believe it. But see, they'll get hurt messing with me. I, I got them watching me right now. They don't even know I'm a seer. I see them right here at, my, at 30 degrees. They're watching me. But if they come close to me, I'm going to find out if they're human or not because they will bleed. If they get close enough and violate my space and I'm an American citizen and my ancestors fought for civil rights, they're getting all the benefits and you think you're going to harm me? You think every black woman is on drugs? I would love to dress beautifully, but these men out here, they're animals. I can't even dress like a beautiful woman every day. You know why? Because these men out here are animals. So black men, you, you need to work on your, your, your perspective when it comes to black women. You need to, to start to learn that we are both victims of an environment that has made us hate ourselves. Meaning as a group, as a people, as a nation, our skin color. They have made us hate ourselves. Another thing I want to tell you, a lot of these Latinos, they're practicing our ancestors' uh, spirituality of voodoo, and they call it Santeria. Oh, yeah, they're doing evil. They're, they're, our ancestors that were doing evil, because we did have some doing evil. They're out here practicing it and they're trying to use our ancestors spiritual knowledge against their own blood. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. So you got to get balance within your first of all, we need to get balance within our personal selves, meaning connect to God, forgive yourself, forgive others, because we all been okie doke. Realize number two, we are in a world where it said. The devil has fallen down amongst you. The devil is here. I know he's here. The devil can come in any spirit. Don't matter what race. Don't matter what sex. Don't matter how old. The devil is on the earth. Forget it. You think you're going to get rainbows and all that? You're not going to get that. What you're going to get is a fight every day like I'm fighting right now and I got devils watching me right now. But if they come near me, I will hurt them. Because this is my space that I'm in and I'm not violating anybody. I have no record. I have a clean, I don't have a criminal record. I don't have a drug record. I'm a clean woman. But these people that are not even police officers are sitting here. They're not even police officers, but they're watching me thinking they're going to do something to me. I will hurt them very badly. Male or female, I don't care. So you got to put your soldier on, bring it in balance. I'm bringing balance into my life. The only father I know is the heavenly father. My mother, Lois Beeson, bless her soul. She's the strongest queen I know. I love her so much, I'm scared of her. And she's human too. But women, we're women are tired. Black women are tired of being strong. Black women are tired of black men saying, oh, you got it. You a strong woman. We're tired of that. We don't need boys so we don't need to marry a boy. If you want to keep shifting things on the black woman and say, oh, well, you're strong. You can do it. Go sit down or go play. Go to Disneyland. Go to Disneyland. We need men. Real men. Like one of my cousins said uh, on, on Facebook, he said, brothers, we got to start protecting our women and children. God bless him. The Lord bless and keep him and expand him and strengthen him. And cause his face to shine on him because we need more men like him. We need the real men to stand up. It's very difficult for us women to come into balance when our men aren't even thinking about us. They came out of a womb, but you know what they're worried about? Their money and the next piece of tail they're going to get. So for us black women, it's very difficult. Not many of our black men have pride in being a father, have pride in being a, 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 a husband, have pride in being a man that's, that's concerned about his nation, that wants to build his nation. All he's concerned about is himself. Most black men are concerned about themselves, and that's it. 
and they think they're going to get somewhere with that. They're, gonna, they're not going to get anywhere. Black men, you need to learn how to come together and stop this jealousy and this ego tripping and this and this and this everybody want to be the chief but don't nobody want to be the Indian. Let who's qualified rule and come together because there is more power when you have unity as opposed to when you do not. That's why I'm so tired. I want unity. But I have people around me that are worried about being better. Instead of making things better for all of us. They're concerned about being the best one. See, this is that foolishness. This is that Willie Lynchism. Now, on this Comedic Science channel, I'm going to talk about several different aspects of life. Christ was the one that opened the door for me, but I've studied several different religions. Don't, don't, don't get me twisted. I'm not just your everyday average, quote unquote, Christian. Christ I am, meaning life I am, okay? Christ I am, Christian. Christ I am. I am Christ. Christ is in me. Abide in me and I will abide in you. I'm going to show you books I read, 78 Degrees of Wisdom, The Egyptian Book of the Dead, Sir E. Wallace Budge. I got my Holy Bible too. Y'all can, I don't know, some people might like me, some people might not, you know what, whatever. The Yi Ching, The Book of Changes, The Yi Ching. I even have the Bhagavad Gita. I don't know if you know what that is. So for those of you that understand that God has showed himself in several different manifestations to different people. And we have different language. So we, when they say the Christ or the person that is the God in the flesh, we don't know what that name is to that person. God wants oneness. He wants to stop the separation. But first you have to become one with God within self. You have to realize God is a spirit in those that worship him, her, it, the Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, seed of life, womb of life, or seed of life, soil of life, spirit of life or manifestation, the coming forth of it. The physical expression of that life force, Christ, the Trinity. You have to embody this. Man, know thyself. When it says the self, means the selves. Here, this is the crown. I'm sorry, this is the earth star chakra. This is the portal. The portal in which the energies come through from the cosmos. Through the top of the... The skull, the crown, crown chakra, to the third eye chakra, to the throat chakra, which I'm using now, Sakare, the heart chakra, the solar plexus chakra, Mudlahara, which is the reproductive, the, eye, the um, base chakra, which would be near the anal region, and then the grounding area. The grounding into the earth, meaning solid as a rock. These are the energy centers where the vibrations of life, the spirit of Christ, comes through. Which is the same, I and my father are one. These are the attributes of the consciousness of God the father. And the ability to bring forth from God the mother. That's your holy name. I'm getting their spirit on me. I'm starting to want to move away from the books and start talking more because more comes out of me when I just speak. I, I, I listened to my nephew tell me that I need to get a, an outline. I will use it accordingly as I'm told by spirit. Because I think it's stopping the flow of information that just wants to come through me. But I'm, I am going to go over the um, first, the the, mo the actions that happened in Genesis 1 through uh, 5, okay? So in Genesis 1, there was chaos. 
examine the chaos in your life in Genesis, the chaos in the darkness, you know, find out what's under the veil, remove what you don't know, find out, know, okay, become the knower, not the believer, become the knower, okay, two, once you do that, move into action with the plan that you set, even if it's baby steps, speak blessings over your own life, and what you desire over your own life. You can't change other people. I have some things I want that I'm going to keep to myself because it may affect other people. There's some things I desire regarding people that I love in my life, but I can't make people see me the way that I would like for them to see me. I can't control anyone's mind but my own. My own. I can't only control myself. I can't control others. And so I'm creating these videos. Maybe these videos will open up a door of consciousness within the people that I'm speaking of. Maybe they'll watch the video and maybe they will have an uh, awakening and see that I'm not anyone's judge. I'm not here to judge. I'm with the Christ. Christ said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they're doing. Now, if a person knows that I am with the Christ and that I do forgive, but think they can do me, I'm not that person. So I would suggest if one of those people are listening to this video, don't try me because I'm not who I used to be. I do forgive, but I don't forget. So as long as your intentions are well, I don't cast my pearls to swine. So you can't be swine coming around the queen, huh? <laughs> Let me stop. Don't come around me with that foolishness. If you got love in your heart and well, intentions we can vibe we can do some things if not then i'll keep trotting the path i've trodden the most high is keeping me well and i'm looking forward to expanding i have some wonderful friends i still got to make a video that will give honor to the people that god sent to me that i love so very much and i want to have a big party one day and get me this big mansion and a pool and just like shower them with gifts <laughs> and let them stay at my house. I'm still alive. We never know who, maybe it'll happen, right? Okay, so let's get back to the business. So chaos was upon the face of the deep. Take inventory of the darkness of your life, the things that you don't know really. This is not going to be an overnight thing. This is going to be a process. So you're going to be doing that this entire year. But start with one area. If you want to start with one area and... You feel like you need to learn more about the other areas. Don't work. Work on the one that you have the most knowledge that you feel will be easiest for you to work on. Work on that. Inch by inch is a cinch. Yard by yard is hard. Lessons to my late Aunt Flora. Okay, that's what she used to tell me. So, inch by inch is a cinch. Yard by yard is hard. Okay, so just take it one step at a time. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Okay, so chaos, examine the, the, the things that are out of order in your life. What don't you know about it? And what do you know about it? Make a plan. Whichever plan is easiest, move out on it. Three, speak over your life. Say, I will have. Or I thank. I give thanks that I already have. Even though it hasn't come into the physical. I, thank, I give thanks that I already have great friends. I, I give thanks that I already have new streams of income coming in. I, I, I give thanks that I already have uh, 20,000 subscribers. I give thanks that um, new wonderful blessings that I can't even fathom are coming my way. And I'm ready and prepared to take them on with proper action and, and joy and abundance and gratitude. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that I am in the power, a powerful position to help and bless others. Okay, this is that speaking. This is three. This is the third the speaking. And there was light. That's Christ. Okay, the word in the beginning was the word and the word was God. The word was with God. And then that's what Christ said. The kingdom of God is very close to you. It is even in your mouth. That's what he was saying. Your words, even though it's something we hear. We don't realize how powerful what we speak is. I am learning. How powerful the word is. I'm learning. I'm learning just like you guys. I'm no scholar. Okay. I am a student and I teach what I do know. And I'm not too. 
I don't know, snooty or whatever to think that someone else can't teach me. But it better be the divine wisdom of God with the spirit of the Christ in it. Because I don't I don't I don't compete and I don't do you know, I let people say, OK, I mean, if people want to be, you know, uh, no, that's not right. Then I just say, OK, I agree to disagree. I choose not to, you know, converse with you. But I wish you well. Blessings of love and light. You know, I'm in. Bye. I got to go because I don't have time for that. I'm trying to wake people up to the scientific consciousness, the awareness of the God within. Okay, if the Bible itself was working, people would already, people wouldn't be uh, holy on Sunday and then do everything they want to do on Saturday through Monday. Okay, so the spiritual science of ancient Kemet gives you a description of the God consciousness, the mind of God. Okay, be renewing, be renewed by, uh, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Who are you? What are you? Why are you here? How are you supposed to be operating? Know those things about yourself. Okay, so after he spoke light, which is the third script, the third verse of Genesis 1, for examine and take inventory um, of the things that you do know and the things that you don't know. Take an inventory. Constantly keep taking inventory as you're going through this process of working on this particular area of bringing this chaotic situation in your life back into balance. Okay. Be sure. Wait a minute. You guys got to find something. Be sure to, um, find whatever knowledge you can to transform that situation that you want to transform into what you want, you know, do research. Um, and I'm, and you know, I, you know, I, I understand that life is very tedious and difficult. I don't know if time is shorter or whatever. The only thing I'm telling you, kings and queens, is this: do the best that you can. Okay, that's all I'm saying is, is do the best that you can. Okay, because it says in Ecclesiastes, our life is but a breath, and while we're alive, we have an opportunity. To give praise and thanks to the Most High by being obedient to the will of the Heavenly Father. That's all we got. All this other stuff we working for, we thinking we're doing. Baby, at the end of the road, when it's time for us to cross over, we all sit and wonder what that's going to be like. One day, one day. Well, guess what? We all going to have that one day. Ain't nothing we can do about it. We just don't know when. So I'm going to tell you again, whatever you do for Christ, meaning the spirit of life, the son of the heavenly father and the cosmic mother womb, that's all that's going to matter. Whatever you do for life so that we all can have life and have it more abundantly so that Christ can live in and through us. Okay. To preach the truth. That's all the gospel means. The divine truth of God. That's what it's all about. Liberating others. So this monetary thing we go through. This financial situation. Hi little friend. <laughs> this is only half of our life. Okay. As I told you before. We have, two, we have two dual lives going on. We have a spiritual life. And we have a physical life. They're both working in tandem. Those are the scales of my art. Divine law. We got to get them balanced. And before we leave, we have to have our heart as light as a feather. Got a lot of work to do, people. All I'm telling you is where it said in, in Proverbs, in all thy getting, get understanding. Because this journey is not for the swift nor to the strong but for those that endure until the end, meaning keep up the spiritual works. Because in the end, that's all we got left, the spirit. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word, and his word is what? The master, the Christ, the spirit of life, my word will not pass away. The master will not pass away, and he lives forever. So if we're in Christ, we live forever too. 
live for life, live to bring life to others, live to bring light and truth and enlightenment to others. My little squirrel friends rolling up on me. <laughs> I got to get them some nuts. Get them a real fancy little, I love those little guys. Get them some, hi buddy. <laughs> there he is. Get them some little fancy nuts. I promise I'll bring you some nuts next time. Okay, so let's go back to the last one, which is five measurements of the times and cycles. Okay, this is where you need to start studying the universe. Get the sidereal calendar. And yeah, start understanding astrology. This is for me because I don't know as much about astrology, meaning the universe itself, like the planets and the movement of the planets and what the planets are made of. I don't know as much as I should. Hi, buddy. He's so cute. Oh, they all coming over here. Got me a bird. Oh, with a red. Hi, they're all coming. Oh, my God. I wish you guys could see him. I got three squirrels around me. This beautiful bird with a red head. Hi. Hi, you guys. That must be the most high blessing me. I must be doing a pretty good job. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, my God, this beautiful bird. I wish you guys could see it. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It has like stripes on the side of his head and a red top head. It's beautiful. I can't even, man, I, I don't even know what to do. I can't, I can't, I can't even turn the camera because it's going to, I can't even, it's beautiful. I'll try to find it on, uh, oh my God, that's a beautiful bird. I'll try to find, uh, I'll find it on, uh, I don't know, what is that called? Pinned interest, Pinterest. Look at that bird. Oh, my God. Is that, is that a hummingbird? I just saw my, that's my, uh, excuse me, you guys. I'm getting messages. That, <laughs> they're telling me I did good. Whenever I'm connected, they, they send me a hummingbird. <sighs> Feeling humble right now. Thank you. I, feel, I hear well done. So I'll be closing out soon. Hallelujah. Thank you. All right. So measurements of times and cycles. Study the universe because uh, we think we're so important as human beings. And although we've been given, the Bible says we were made a little higher than the angels. We might be made higher in the sense that we have our, we have a choice to follow the divine will of the creator. Look at the little <laughs> the squirrels on top of the stump. <laughs> they send me stuff to make me laugh and smile. Or butterflies everywhere. Oh my God, they're blessing me. We have the, the option of following the creator's will or not. Christ said, I do nothing of my own account. <laughs> Hi, little friend. But what my father tells me to do, that I do. I feel his spirit. Hallelujah. <laughs> My little buddies are coming close. Presence, presence of the Lord must be here because they're coming close. My little buddies. Oh, my God. Thank you. They're here. They're letting me know I did good. Hi, buddy. Okay. So, five measurements of times. I'm sorry. Five is measure times and cycles. So, you need to get connected to the universe. I'm going to pray right now because I feel the spirit and I'm going to ask for guidance on what else to tell you. So, blessed Heavenly Father, Mother, God, Spirit of Life, Christ, Godhead, the one who is, the one who was, and the one who will ever be, the three in one, the two in one, the yin and yang, the one who has come in many names and in many expressions to different people around the world. Bless your holy name, master, propitiator, lawyer, one who prays unceasingly for the chosen. Thank you, master, for your indescriptive love, kindness, and faithfulness and loyalty. Couldn't make it without you. Heavenly Father, bless your holy name. You are altogether lovely and altogether wonderful and altogether glorious, altogether powerful, most beneficent. You are the benefactor of the blessed. 
divine mother, the one who is hidden, the one who has birthed all and that has expressed itself as this beautiful, luscious green earth. You are not appreciated as much as you should be. And I consider it an honor for you to use me. I thank you for all abundance. And I thank you for the ability to give birth. Help me and for all my brothers and sisters that are listening to the sound of my voice and to this message to transform. Send them transformation power right now to give birth, to shape their mind, their consciousness, their deed, their will. into the divine will of the creator not their own will but the father's the father's purpose for them divine purpose for why they were created help them to wake up to their true purpose of creation within their own soul that no man can write or type or put into a program help them awaken to the divine default program put in their own consciousness through the power of the netaru the power of the consciousness of the Christ within them, the spirit of life, which is Heru, according to the ancient Kemetic spiritual science of ancient Egypt, Kemet, Nubia. Bless your holy name, Father. Forgive us all our sins, past, present, and future, known and unknown. Wipe us clean and purify us with your power of fire, water, air, and earth, through the pure white light of your sons. Rays of light from the Divine Mother, and the power to transform through the seed of your soul. Hallelujah and amen. Thank you. Give you all the praise and the glory. And thank you, Master, for living in us and through us. Give us life. Give us power to overcome all the adversities of our life. Give us strength of mind and heart and will and bring us joy. Help us to produce more joy to share with others. Raise up our consciousness, raise up our hearts from the dunghill and the pit of hell that we've been through. Bring love back into our minds and our hearts and the world through your will working through us, through your son, the Christ, who lives in us. Bless your holy name, Father. In the name of your son, I pray and I ask this. I call it forth from the heavens now into the earth and realm. And I declare that this word that is spoken has been sent to your throne. From the holy angels that have been given to me from my first birth, which is my spiritual birth. And my second birth, which is my manifestation as earth. I speak all these words. Through my divine self, which is a set mekhebet or yah heheru. Bring forth the divine powers within us through the Christ consciousness. That the Neturu, which is your true consciousness, Heavenly Father, come through us, work in us, and expand our consciousness and connect with us through the powers of the planets. I connect with them now and I send my energy to all those who are listening that they will get this energy right now. Let me be the vessel to send your energy to my brothers and sisters who are listening to this video. Send your energy now. Healing, health, peace, Strength, power, protection, guidance, calmness. Divine wisdom. And resurrection. In your holy name I pray and I ask in the name of your son. Bless our ancestors, those who are in the pure white light and served you during their work on this earth and in their incarnation bless their ka bless the angels in all forms of fire water air and earth bless the angels of all 
of the powers of your divine nature who operate within the faculties of your default programs of creation of divine law from the cosmic to the natural earth. Bless our car, bless our minds, bless our body. Bless our heavenly consciousness and bless our earthly consciousness and protect us, place a shield around us. And I call forth the strongest angels who were sent from the ancestors that we have who were in your will. I call them forth to myself and all of the ancestors, angels who were of the, of the people who are watching this channel, I call them forth to protect and guide them and strengthen them and bless them right now. In your holy name I pray. I thank you that this blessing and this prayer has been sealed and protected from all evil forces and all malevolent beings that it is being carried by the pure divine white light personally to your throne to bless all of my subscribers, all those who are listening to my voice, let them have a wonderful blessing this weekend and let them report it back to me. I need you to show me and prove to me that I am on track. I want to receive some messages that are just awesome related to this blessing. I thank you in the name of your son that it's already done. Bless the God here. Bless you, Master. Bless you, divine mother. Amen, I say. Okay, so hope you guys like that. What I am gonna do is give you a brief, really short brief on the day two. Day two, it starts at Genesis one seven, and it says laws and ordinances. Now, this is what I told you. They gave me this a week ago. Excuse me. Uh, Genesis 1 7, the sky, the stars, and the planets. So, see, we're right on track. I said study the universe, okay? So, in order, if you're feeling stuck and you feel like you can't connect and you can't quite, you're in such a fog, you can't understand how to analyze your life, then that's where uh, the knowledge I have can help you. And, like I said, if you don't want to book a class with me, one on one, and you're in the Los Angeles area, then please go to Google and type in Ra Un Nefer Amen, R A space U N space N E F R space A M E N, and then uh, space M E T U space N E T R space V O L dot one. That's Metunetri Volume One. Author is Ra'un Nefer Amin. And there will be a chart there of the netters, meaning the faculties of God, meaning the areas of God's consciousness, which in the ancient Egyptian they called deities. That's why they believed they worshipped animals, and that was not true. They just had to use an animal to describe that particular faculty of the Creator, how it operated. Okay? See, the whole reason why I'm doing this channel is because they have use me as a vessel to connect the ancient Egyptian text, which is the Black Lands, the book that came out, the Black Lands, to the modern day King James Version Bible. And so I'm here specifically for all those of light, but, but um, respectably for black melanated people so that they can see that this book is not a joke and that they are a part of cosmology and that we are not Negroes, and that we are not niggers, and that we are not whatever name people want to say. Actually, we're all the same. We are all spirit. <laughs> this is just a meat suit. But it came through our ancestors first, and then other races, nations took it and put their own twist to it or saw revelations in a different way. But it came, you know, out of our ancestors' lands. And so, uh, because we have become something that we're not, I've been chosen to be an example of how someone that is brought up in the belly of the beast 
experienced the same experiences, heard the same ghetto music, the same, you know, watched the things, became a, 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 a victimized, in, you know, from all the experiences I've gone through, from being programmed, from being in the Matrix. Oh, yeah, Sister Toffee was in the Matrix. <laughs> you thought I was this way all, the, all my life? Oh, no. I've got some stories to tell you, but uh, we're just going to focus on your evolution right now. You know, I made it through, so I don't need to, uh, I am a walking testimony. I don't need to discuss what my pain was or what I've been through because glory to God, (laughs) I've come through it all. And that's all that matters. And I've done it without uh, drugs and liquor and violence. I have a clean record. I'm not a drug addict. I'm not a liquor addict. I'm not any kind of, you know, I don't have any desires of this world, really. I really don't. I just maintain life and I want to get stronger and live longer so that I can help people to be able to look in the mirror and feel good about themselves and look up to the heavens and know that the Father and that the Christ and that the Mother is pleased with them. So they don't have to feel hurt and shame and guilt anymore. Because when people hurt you and shame you and and abuse you and abandon you, God will not do that. I feel best when I'm serving the Lord. And that's why I love doing these videos. Um, My life is not my own anymore. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself away. Oh, my life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, give myself away. I give myself away. I give myself away. So you can use me. I give myself away. Oh God, give myself away so you can use me. (laughs) I'm going to (laughs) stop. Maybe I'll sing on one video for you guys just to sing, but I'm supposed to be teaching right now, so I'm going to stop. Woo, just got the spirit. Bless your holy name. <laughs> All right. So look for April. Life lasts. We'll be talking about Genesis 1 through 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. This has to do with nature. I'm right in alignment. Woo, I got the spirit. Nature is netter. You see how this channel says the netter ruin you? That's what nature is. Okay. Take out the A, take out the U, and take out the E. And what is that? That's like, ah, uh, right? Um, that's the peace, right? The nature of peace. N-T-R, netter. Netter ruin you. Okay? So that means A and E. I don't know what that would be. But they're all the words, it's a little mixed up. N-A-T-R-U. No, I'm sorry, N-T-R-U. Yeah. So I don't know what the A-E would be, but. Nature is nature. So now those of you, oh, the comedic science channel, you know. Kemet is chem, C-H-E-M, chem. Okay, that comes from the black lands. That is, um, why do I not know this? I have to get that because I, I study so much I forget. But it's K- C-H-E-M, chem. And I believe it has to do with, I know it has to do with alchemy, but there's a particular definition that most committed scientists or studiers use. So we're going to talk about the natures. That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about your divine nature. What is it? That's what it's going to be. What is your divine nature? What is the netter root? It is your divine nature. What is the netter root? I'm going to say the netter root in you is nature. Okay? Natural nature. The way the Creator, the Heavenly Father, the default program the Father had, and He is the seed. He is the one. The Christ was the manifestation of the Father. 
he had to come down in a physical form because it's like, dang, my kids, they, they messing up. They can't get this. I got to embody myself in myself and put myself as my son and come out here and die for him because they don't know what they're doing and they're not going to make it. They're going to be in complete darkness forever. So now Christ is an energy and he lives and he's a spirit and he lives in people like myself and you. And we have to listen to what he's telling us and be obedient to the will of the father, because whatever is talking to us in our spirit and it has to do with God's will, that's the Christ. Or that's an angel that God sent to us. That's the Christ, the Holy Spirit. They're all working as one to the will of the Father. He said, whatever my Father says to do, that I do. I do nothing of my own accord. That's what we're talking about, the body of Christ. That's what he's talking about. His Spirit operating in different people that are chosen, that were chosen from the foundations of the world. They were chosen to bring light into this place of testing, of darkness, where the devil is here. To overcome the darkness, so the darkness knows that you are not more powerful than the light. Basically, the devil made a, made a, made a deal with God. He made, in, in the Quran, he did it. In the Bible, he was testing you. We'll make this rock into some food. <laughs> this is a test. They're trying to tell you. This experience that we have. Don't get, don't get confused and don't get twisted. This is a temporary assignment, place, incarnation. We're, we're not going to be here forever. It's important you stay mindful of that. We worry about this life as if the mundane and the material concerns of this world are more important than spiritual. Never. They will never be because this is not the eternal. So I would suggest you start to find out what it is. Listen to the inner guidance. What is he telling you you need to do? Not doing a good deed today. I'm talking about your purpose. You have gifts. If you're chosen and Christ the master lives in you, you have gifts you're supposed to be using. So you can have your own fulfillment at the same time blessing others and you are also honoring the heavenly father for the gifts the parable of the of of of, of 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 the talents you know the talents remember that the scripture on the talents one man buried it another man you know used it to its f fullest ability this is what it is let me tell you something let me tell you something this is what this is another thing i want to tell you about genesis i'm going to read it thank you heavenly father See, this, the King James Version Bible is a cold book. For those of you that are so much into ancient Egyptian science, you don't want to read this book, you're missing it. Everything is here. It's hidden. That's why it says in, in Proverbs, who can understand the words of the wise and an enigma? Who can understand an, an enigma or a parable of the words of the wise? They're telling you right there. It's in here. Can you understand what we're trying to say? Batman and Robin. Robin, what's, you know, that stuff. There are messages everywhere. All right. So let's go to when he was talking to Adam. What was I talking about? I got some devils around me. They're trying to steal my thoughts. Blood of Jesus, get behind me, Satan. All right. The blood, I plead the blood. Okay, um, he gave he gave Adam a job. Thank you, Father. All right, he gave him a job before he gave him a wife. Okay, so it's in chapter two, actually. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Wait a minute. What day did he make Adam? Oh, 
Okay, so that's... Okay, yeah. Let me just talk about how he created things. Okay. I don't want to read the whole entire thing. I guess I'm going to do it. I think I got enough time real quickly. Okay, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Earth was without form and darkness. Form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The Spirit of God moved upon the waters. God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light and it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And the evening morning was the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. It was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. So he made, he did something with the waters, with all that chaos. Okay, first and second day. He dealt with that underlying stuff. Waters represent emotion. So in other words, you got to deal with all your emotional issues. I'm talking to myself now. I'm getting ministry right now while I'm being used. And God called the firmament heaven in the evening and the morning was the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear. And it was all it was so. OK. And, the, and God called the dry land earth and gather and the gathering together of the waters called he called the seas. And God saw that it was good. So it's like separate your emotions from your earthly life and the things you know you got to do, you know. Deal with your emotions, find out what you need to do to heal, and separate that from your earthly life. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass and, and the herb, yield, herb, herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind. Okay, this is about your lineage right here. God said, let the earth bring forth grass and the herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind. Whose seed is in itself upon the earth and it was so and the earth brought forth grass. And herb. So this is about multiplication. Okay, this is about how he said... Uh, Heaven, he said, heaven is like, um, it's a devil right here just playing with me. He said, um, seed time and harvest, such as the kingdom of heaven. Kingdom of heaven is like seed time and harvest. So he's talking to you about how things multiply, how abundance. He said, a seed after every, it's kind. So he's letting you know, whatever you do, you're going to reap. That's what he's letting you know right there. Everything, a seed after it's kind. And God saw that it was good in the evening and the morning with the first, third day. See? So he's talking about multiplication, how you can multiply. Okay? He's doing all the laws of multiplication, all these laws, okay, of the universe and nature. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, let there be light in the firmament of the, of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs. And for seasons and for days and years. See that? So now it's about mathematics and about being aligned with his movement. With the movement of the universe. With the times the cycle. Right now we're in spring, right? A few days ago was spring, right? So now this is the time of the coming forth of life. Okay? The winter was the death. And now it's time to rise back up. Okay? So we have to follow these cycles and, 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 and move our, our life in tandem with this. Okay. And God made two great lights and the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament uh, of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night. Okay. And to divide the light from the darkness. And God said it was good in the evening and in the morning were the fourth day. So now he's dealing with light and darkness, separating truth from falsehood. See that? Okay. Did you see that? And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures that have life and fowls that may fly above the earth in the open firmament. So right there, waters are emotion. OK, so it's saying to be like the phoenix and rise up out of all your emotional issues. OK, that was verse 20. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, moveth which the waters their kind and every winged fowl after its kind. And God saw that it was good. OK, and God blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the sea. So look, we always talk about how God wanted to bless man. Oh, God told Adam, bless them and, 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 and want them to be abundant. Honey, let me tell you something. God blessed the fowls of the air. You, do you see this? Verse 21, 20. All the way. First of all, he, he blessed the plants and he blessed the animals and God blessed them. OK, he blessed the birds and God created great whales and every living creature. He blessed the, the creatures in the sea. OK. And said, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in, in the seas and let fowl multiply the earth. You see that? So before we even showed up, let me tell you something. The animals are gifts. Animals were the blessings God put upon the earth to bless us before we even came. So they carry high vibration. They already know their natural nature. They weren't given a choice. So God was in his design stage and making beauty and all those things before he even made us. But he was feeling so good about himself. He said, you know what? I got to make something that's like a little meat. And you know what we did? We screwed up. We screwed up. 
Okay, be fruitful, multiply, and God said, let the earth bring forth the living creatures after its kind and creeping things. Da, 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 da. And God made the beast. So, and God let us, here we go, 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, fowls of the air, over, over uh, all the earth, cattle, over creeping things upon the earth. And so God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he, him, male and female. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful, multiply. So he made all these other things before he made man. He made nature. Okay. So we should study the animals to understand nature. Okay. Cycles and things like that. Okay. I'm trying to find out where it says he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. So there's a lot of re redundancy in the bible unfortunately because i'm trying to find out because right here it just says he made them okay and to every beast of the field follow the air okay um now i'm trying to find out okay thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the behosts of them on the seventh day and on the seventh day god ended his work which he had made and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made Okay, so that means the Sabbath is supposed to be a day of rest. He didn't rest on the sixth day. He rested on the seventh day. It says, and on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day. Everybody want to talk about the seventh day, but it's Sabbath, not Saturday. It's, I mean, not, I'm not meaning it's, um, I'm sorry, Saturday is the Sabbath. Sunday is not the Sabbath. And God, but it is the resurrection day, because sun represents the Christ. And God... Worship God every day. Go to church every day. Get on your knees every day. The church is your temple, your body. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and the, of the earth when they were created in the day of the Lord made. The, in the day that the Lord God made the earth. Okay, now let me find out. Here we go. Right now. Here we go. Chapter 2. Verse five, and every plant of the field before it was the earth, before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground. That's why I said there's a lot of redundancy because Adam was not meant to till the ground until after, quote unquote, the apple was eaten. Uh, my time is running out, so I'm going to keep this short. Right here it says, but there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man right there, seven of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils, the breath of life and man became a living soul. Okay. And, and Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the, the man who had formed and, and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. So back here, he said, so God created man, in his own image and in the image of God created he him male and female. So now he's saying here in the Lord. So it's just, okay. This was 27. Okay. In chapter one, verse one, 27, there is a conflict here saying that God created man in his image and likeness. This is before he talks about breathing into the uh, breast, bre breathing into the nostrils, the breath of life. Okay. So that's seven. So it's a lot of redundancy. That's why I said, you got to really study this book. Okay. Um, what I was trying to explain to you was the fact that man was given a job first. Okay. It was telling, it talks about one through, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, seven through 11 after he made a man, uh, and the name of this, okay. It talks about all the way to. Verse 21, okay, this is where God put him to sleep. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of the ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God has taken man, made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Okay, this is verse 21 through 22. Okay, in 23 and, and 24, 25, he said, this is flesh of my flesh, bone of my bone. But I want to show you where Adam had a job first. So let me tell you something. A man, let me tell you what God made man. He made man so he can see how he operated as a little mini him 
in a mental state. Not, 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 woman wasn't even made. Okay, according to this Bible. The man was made so God can see how his mind worked in the man. So if you're around a man that's not using his mind, God mind. You're dealing with somebody that is outside of the will of God and you need to get away from him. Excuse me, you need to get the hell away from him. Because if he's not working in his mind, God, he's working with the devil. He's working with chaos. He's not working according to the default program of God. God did not give woman. Look, read it, you guys. I want you to read this. God did not make man and say, I'm going to make you a woman. Read it. He said, if you study it, you'll see that he's the first thing he gave Adam after he made him. He said, I want you to name all the plants of the field, all the trees and everything. That's what I want you to do. I want you to name everything. And he said he did a good job. And after he did a good job, then he said he saw that he was lonely. And that's when he made the woman. After he did a good job using his brain. So the first thing a man is supposed to be doing is using his mind. If he's not using his mind, then he is not operating in the divine plan of God. And he is not worth following, submitting to, listening to. Get away from that fool. And I'm saying it right now because I got a bunch of devils still around me. See, I don't submit. Sub I, I don't even submit to. I submit to the king. Now, men that come around me, it says submit yourselves unto your husbands. I have no husband but the Lord. So these predator dudes that think they're going to walk around me and put some gorilla on me, I got some gorilla for them. Because, see, the father had to go to the, to the mother waters and straighten her out. But she was already crazy. The mother was already in chaos. The father is the one that put order in the mother's spirit. You hear what I'm saying? And I'm saying that right now. I'm sorry for getting loud, y'all. I'm trying to speak the word, but I got my own young. Look, first of all, I know they're young enough to be my sons. They up here praying on me. Now, I'm going to tell you, as a queen mother, it pisses me off. Number one. Number two, it makes me want to carry an extension cord with me and beat the devil out of them. Because I'm not the one. See, we done been messed up so bad. We got our own, me, even boys, praying on elder women. Boys! I am tired of this foolishness. And so is the Lord. I'm going to let it go right now. Peace, love, life, and protection and guidance and oneness. But I am so tired of what they're doing to us. He said it'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Look at Revelation. Our own people are wanting to eat each other alive. And I love my young brothers, my older brothers, my young sisters, my old, but I ain't nobody to, I'm little mama. I am a set neck habit, oh yah, had heru. I'm nobody to play with, I'm connected to the cosmic mother. I'm not nobody to be playing with. And it makes me angry when these kids do that. This is why we got to start the work we got to start. Okay, because we follow for the okie doke, my, my people. I love you. Please start doing the work to wake up. Don't expect some little lamb around here. Okay, Sister Toffee's not a little lamb. I can be sweet and nice, but if the battle's on, I'm at the front line. Don't expect all that over here. If I had enough kings around to keep me safe, I could calm down. But I don't have enough kings around. These, me these males out here in Los Angeles are, excuse my language, they're fools. They are crazy, blind, and crippled trying to do the crip walk foolishness father mother god ain't having it and christ ain't having it i send you love and peace from the highest part of myself and i release this negative energy they're gone now but i have to watch my own back while i, I like to be in nature when i record so in closing i'm going to give you the spheres of the net zero amen which is the earth star chakra where the energies come down from the heavens into your third eye from your crown chakra into the third eye, the divine mind of God, the pineal gland in the middle of your brain, where you can learn to speak the divine word of God over your mouth, where you can learn how to believe in the abundance of life, like the green, beautiful, luscious earth. He owns a, a cattle of a thousand hills. 
There is no such thing as scarcity. According to your faith, be it unto you. The solar plexus is the Christ, the sun, solar, solar. The wheel in the middle of the wheel. If you align up with the divine wheel, the wheel will turn in your favor. But you must submit to the will of the father for the will of your life to turn. The reproductive system, Mahmoud Lahara. I'm switching to the Indian. That's the birth. So I'm just going to go through it without pointing to them. Earth star chakra, crown chakra. Earth star chakra is, is, is Amen. Amen, Oser, Tahuti, Seker, Ma'at, Heru and Hetheru, Sebek, and Aset. And this whole body is given. I will talk about what they are and translate that. These are the areas where the divine consciousness of the creator comes through us, which is the tree of life, which is Christ. Okay, that is all for now. Peace, love, and light. And I will look forward to speaking with you in April. One love, guidance, peace, and namaste. Oneness.